Hey. Yeah. Why oh, right. is this house all broken? Uh, Dude. I was going to... Who broke this village. guy's house? I was going to tear down the village and relocate what? all the villagers. Uh, so I did that, and I relocated all the villagers somewhere else. I'll show you those guys in a second. But oh. anyway, so do this. Broke uh, some so porter's have house. Built. Yeah, uh, so I have a smelter built. We'll do some little bit of smelting, uh, some more of that. I've already done a little bit. You can see I have some tools here. Uh, uh. Anyway. Uh, next on the list is smelting and a little bit of tutorial work on that so you can kind of be able to work it. And then getting some electricity. So I will go to the factory that I built the other day and work on it. So there's some stuff that I left in the closet in the mansion. Can grab what? Stuff. In the mansion? Oh, this big place? Yeah. This thing that, uh, that I built. The last time we uh, that's, uh, uh, oh, did you? Oh, what the? F hey, the hell yeah, is this? What? Why the hell is this? It kind of fits, right? You know, no, not at all. You got uh, uh, this pink, lovely pink crafting table. Yeah, that's. Doors. What the? F you probably. Uh, you know, Probably put a bed in here and make it your love chamber. Uh, you know what else I can do? I can make this entire room explode. And uh, <laughs> might happen at some point. Why, why would you do that? Pretty, pretty sure I'm going to blow this. We're pretty anyway, sure. Uh, yeah, so we do have you TNT. Like your, you don't like your closet? No. I, no. Pink is... No. I mean, I'm a dude who wears all black all the time. Well, I don't Actually, I don't think I've yet, ever so. changed clothes ever. I don't have any black wood yet, so we'll have to figure that out later. Alright, so Tinker's Construct. Oh, did you pee in here? What the hell? Uh, is that what, you, what that was? What are you doing peeing on the thing? What, is, huh. what the hell is this all this stuff? Lava? More pee? So, Man, is this a so giant this, toilet? What the hell? What all this? this is this is not a giant toilet. This is a, this is a smeltery. And huh. this is kind of the essential thing for interacting with uh, Tinker's construct. Huh. And, uh, so he's updated a lot of things and changed a lot of things in this most recent update that he did. Previously, you uh -huh. used to be able to mm. take stencils. Uh, Dude, you know what's good? But Strawberry milk chocolate. Or chocolate milk. That's good stuff. Anyways, what? Strawberry milk chocolate. Well, because you got some over here in this little thingy, the cauldron thing. And then you got regular milk. You got like strawberry milk and like regular milk. Oh, in here? Oh, over here. Oh, these oh things. yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, I think one of those seems like I will like that one is steel. Anyway, huh. so Tinker's construct, you have these things that I'm holding right now are stencil the uh, blank patterns. And yeah. put them in the, in the stencil table. And previously, uh, you used to be able to craft everything metallic or non-metallic with these. But he has since changed it. So the second iteration of it was you took these patterns <coughs> and placed them inside uh, inside this area. And you poured the stuff over it. But that no longer works. So he's oh. updated it again since then. And now the way that he does it is a little bit different so it's kind of backwards uh, but a lot of people don't know about how it works anymore because I don't know about how it works anymore and it confused the heck out of me but I finally found it out so so by the way don't it's been changed is that instead of making the cast with pattern you put the, you create a, sort of a like a blade and now we have the sword cast that we can use to make swords. So it's kind of backwards now. So it, it's more logical, but it's also a little more clear. So I've made some casts already, and some of these were made before. Some of them were made after the, the change. But anyway, I've, I've made those, and uh. I'm going to make myself a side. For that, I need a tough tool rod, a tough binding cast, and a tough and a side head, so go ahead and empty it out. Let's go right here for the basin. Okay, let's change it over to the floor. Let's 
take it with all the gold in there. Pee a little bit uh, more. The, the basin. Ooh. The basin is actually uh, this thing right here. It's called a casting basin. And what you use it for is you, if you have nine ingots worth of liquid in there, you can right click and turn all the liquid into that basin and turn it into an actual block of gold or block whatever. Huh. So what I did, what I had in there before was gold. Actually, that's why I'm looking like a little hill pea coat. Uh, but you can, gold and, and aluminum brass is kind of what you use to make these casts here. So that's kind of what, what those are. I guess we'll make uh, some stuff out of steel, and I'm actually also going to make uh, something else out of some slime crystals. Mm. Slime crystals have a much higher durability base. Uh, Yeah, sure. So these are your tough rod patterns. If you go and, and click on the tool station here, um, you can go to the cleaver, it's the one below the, the apple, the giant sword of thing. Oh, yeah. And so the, for some of these uh, materials, you can use stone uh, with the wooden pattern. Uh, but for most of them, you have to use, like for the, the bigger and better ones, you actually have to use the, uh, the casting table. You know. Same way I showed it off earlier. It's, it's still, it still takes forever to melt. A lot of these tools that you can put in here take forever to melt. But uh, steel is one of the longest ones. Well, it is steel, else? after all. Yeah, it, it is. That's it. Kind of makes sense. So, okay, so I take it. Come by, well, I, I take it we're going to use the large blade cast for yes, the, the cleaver. Cast. And if you notice on the cast saying it says a uh, material cost, right? Just the amount of the ingots that it uses. Oh, it's all milk now. It is all milk. <laughs> Uh, and if this uh, furnace looking thing is how you interact with this construct, uh, this melter. And if right. you hover over the uh, sort of bar, the uh, liquid bar here, you can see exactly kind of how much stuff is inside there. And if there's multiple liquids in there, it'll actually stack the liquids on top of each other. So whatever you put in first or whatever melted first goes in that order of uh -huh. those things. And uh, I'll probably do a little bit of a, a spotlight on it. This mod and the updates that's done later for more extensive uh, information for people who still don't know about it. It's a very nice little blacksmith mod. That's how I like it. So, what I'm making now, what I'm making is a scythe. And this scythe uh, actually has uh, an AoE attack. So, if I look from my material menu, Scythe is right here. So normally we use it for harvesting the like crops or the youth or whatever. But it is kind of a decent weapon and the tax mod and the 3x3x3 is keyboard, which is pretty nice. So and you drop your the rock throw. And now you've got mine made, you need to make yours. So you need a a plate and a large blade. I think you have just enough steel in there for both of those. So the large so, class is in the middle. Large the blade. And then right there is faucet. Right. Pour it out. Yeah, when it's done, give me my milk blade. You are now a blacksmith. I don't believe you. <laughs> So there's there's other things that you can really do with. Um, what else did I need? Hold on, relax, a killer. Large plate, large plate, in the very center. You see it? 
large plate cast. Yes. Give me some more milk, please. So there's a lot of things you can do with these, uh, these weapons and uh, the forging process. And some things that you can do with them is uh, you can add modifiers onto them based off of what you're adding onto it. If you open, I have my, my book out, but if you open the book, if you open the book up at the very, near the very end of it, you can see all the different uh, sort of modifiers you can add to it, like, uh, for instance, lapis blocks will add luck to whatever you put it onto it. So in that, in that case, you can have something like fortune added onto your blades, where when if you kill something, it has a higher chance to drop it. All right. Really nice. And uh, so like redstone is for mining things faster. Uh, you don't want really to put that on weapons. Unless it's a battle axe and if you want to somehow, or for some reason, if you want to battle axe the harvest wood faster, I don't know why you want that, but you can do that. And uh, whenever you uh, modify something onto the blade or the, the, the tool, it adds kind of like a little indicator on there. So if I can go in here and put some lapis on side my tool, I should have some blue on the tool, as you can see. Yeah. And so, Anything else you do the same the same thing. So depending on what it is, you just have different modifiers to this that it does. So. Alright. Uh, so. so what? Well, hold on. I think I'm figuring it out. Maybe. If you click if you click on the cleaver, it'll show you the or the order the uh, pieces go. Take all the pieces out and then click on the cleaver piece. And it'll show you how oh, the cleaver piece. Yeah, so you actually have to put them in the time. So the cleaver has a special ability called beheading. And yeah, I noticed does, that. Yeah, so you have you actually have a higher chance to get hit. So this is a type of weapon you want in the nether when you're trying to get whether it hits or whether with the heads, with the heads, with the heads, yeah. And to add further insult to that danger, uh, to that weapon, uh, I might have. Let me go grab a. Actually, actually, a farm. So now there's a good time to a time to actually show off the farm. So we've been doing some work on trying to get things automated, or not really automated, but easier for us to get to. So, or at least I have. And so I've got redstone, I've got lapis, I've got iron, I've got diamond, and diamond took forever to get the full row of it. And I have gold, and then I have glowstone, because uh, we had glowstone in the Thomcraft Tower, so I used the uh, glowstone in there to make some seeds. And then this last one here is injured dust. This is the one I just recently got started, so it's still kind of premature. Uh, but what I'm about to do to your sword is I'm going to add a higher chance for it to be head things. Well, oh, that's a good thing. Yeah, it might have like, uh, I don't know how much it increases the bottom, but it increases the bottom quite a bit. In essence, we the square at each point. Inner pearls. And then you take inner pearls and I believe obsidian, a lot of obsidian. And so put your stuff in. And obsidian. So put your blade in the Put your blade in the tool spot and you inner pearl go. I don't think it matters but you order the other two. But you put your blade in the top spot or in the, the spot on the handle and then you should be able to uh, make it yeah, beheading. Oh, yeah. Now you have a, a beheading beheading cleaver <laughs> which uh, actually adds a, a nice purple tint to that. That was pretty cool. I'm going to do that to my side. That's a which one. And so it doesn't really matter which uh, 
kind of uh, direction you put the uh, the tools in there that way. Uh, so you put it in there, you can forge and everything. Oh, and he uh, he also added in some thumbnail stuff as well, so that might be something we'll get to later. Or if we get more stuff. Uh, maybe. Uh, the next thing I did, and I walked by it earlier, but I actually had this modern weapon spawn. Having some fun with that. And I think, I think that's all about. Oh, your, uh, your question about the house or anything. So, Alright, so off to Trader House. I'll just leave it. I'm not saying. Oh, I'm coming, jeez. So impatient. What the? I also made some food, some better food. Better food? Psh, dude, yeah. cook pork chop is where it's at. Oh no, you need this magical food is where it's at, man. Magical this, food. This stuff is amazing. So keep some of that on you the whole time, because that gives you regeneration through the food. It makes your health go up pretty quickly from, from nothing. So that's made using some of the nature essences that's gathered off these these trees or these not the trees these plants <laughs> plants <laughs> trees uh, so that's gathered off of the essences of, of these magical plants and then you combine eight tomatoes which is what these are these are tomatoes and that's why there's so many of these they, they get, you get a lot of them uh, well actually you get one per plant but sometimes you get multiple seeds per plant so that's how I've, I've spent a lot of time on Getting all these tomatoes. Ah, 